learned already that names don't constitute knowledge, that they're knowing the name of something. That's caused me a certain trouble since, because I refuse to learn the name of anything. So when someone comes in and says, uh, you got any explanation for the Fitzclonan experiment? I says, what, what, what's that? He says, you know, that the long-lived K meson disintegrates into two pies. Oh, oh, yes, now I know. But I never know the names of things. What he forgot to tell me was that the knowing the names of things is useful if you want to talk to somebody else. <laughs> so you tell him what you're talking about. But the basic principle of knowing about something rather than just knowing its name is something that you stuck to, is it? Yes, of course. It's, well, you have to learn. These are kind of disciplines in the field of science that you have to learn. That to know when you know and when you don't know and what it is you know and what it is you don't know. And it's uh, you got to be very careful not to confuse yourself. Hi guys, how are you? Mind this one, titanium. Welcome back to Real Macro Economics and Investing. patreoncom slash macro and uh, patreoncom slash BKC. Bare knuckle charting. All right. So what's going on? Um. You guys that have been here a long time, since 2010 onwards, you know I call the top in just about everything. Oil, gold, Bitcoin, and now the stock market. Um, before that, I did the same with the stock market, but when I traded it, I got my ass kicked <laughs> in 2008 and nine. And that's why I didn't touch the stock market until 2010. So when I when I get a lot of these uh, messages, emails, whatever, tell me what's going on, what should I do, should I buy, should I do anything? You know what I tell them? Wait till things are boring. When things are boring, you're going to make a lot of money. When things are exciting, like they are now, oh my God, I got to go out and buy the stock market. It's a great time to buy. That's not the right time to buy, okay? And you can see it very clearly in the chart here, right? If you were trying to pick bottoms here, right, you probably blew yourself out. And uh, if if you just waited a little bit to 2010, which is somewhere in here, look at all that beautiful money that you made. It was boring. Nobody was talking about it, right? That's what you got to... <laughs> wait for and that's what I keep telling people stop asking me I don't know <laughs> I don't have a fucking crystal ball all I know is the market is going lower we're going into a recession just like I have been saying f since September of last year and um, I have been saying that MMT is voodoo economics and mind you right I was one of the first MMTers I was one of the ones that first posted uh, on YouTube MMT videos, um, and it, it had its valid points, and it still has its valid points, just like Peter Schiff had his valid point, <laughs> right? Uh, just like every school of thought has valid points. I don't think there's anything out there that they cannot take... Uh, truth and fiction mash them together and pretend it's a economic theory and that's what's been going on now for years and especially in recent times where everybody's focused around money 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 everything is around money forget about people who gives a shit about people in production and then forget about it's money buy gold it's real money buy silver it's real money it's god's money print 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 the government is the price setter the government is the monopolist. Government that equals private sector assets. Right? All that bullshit. Right? Everything is revolved around money. So, again, I was one of the first MMTers. And um, as it progressed, my goal initially was to prove that MMT is right. And unfortunately, in that journey, for unfortunately for MMT, not for me, uh, in that journey, what I managed to do was disprove MMT. And in disproving MMT, disproving just about all economic theories out there, um, because they're all revolved around money and what the bank does and all this nonsense. Today, you are all witnessing what I have been saying <laughs> 
for years now. Okay, you can't just print money. You can't. Uh, governments printing money does not equate to value. Okay, and saying silly things like job guarantee and free health care and free college and free this and free that and the government is going to create free homes and whatever all that free stuff socialist stuff it doesn't work <laughs> it's fantasies in an mmt world we would do this in an mmt world it would be like this in, a, in an mmt world <laughs> you're still living in fantasy Okay. Um, you're seeing it now. Let them print whatever they want. Let them uh, cut rates to whatever they want. It won't make a damn bit of difference. Because in the real world, okay, not in an incub incubator with certain parameters all set up and this is the way it works inside the incubator, okay, in the real world, um, it all revolves around people and if you've seen you're lucky enough to see my videos which are kind of funny if you look at them because like little stick men and little dumb little drawings but if you understood them if you if you saw them and you understood them you would know that people are in the center of the economic universe not money and all the economic theory post Keynesian I don't care what you what theories out there exist um, they're bullshit they don't work and you will see it now you're seeing it right right now who cares that they printed 1.5 trillion dollars zero fucks given who cares that they're gonna repo half a billion dollars a day doesn't mean anything who cares they're gonna run aggressive QE doesn't mean shit right these are all fantasies fantasies because this is not a financial crisis okay and in real economics it's the real world it's real people it's real production what the world is engaged in right now is hyperinflation the only thing that's saving them is that everybody's doing it <laughs> that's it that's the only thing that's saving them but he will not create more economic growth in my Twitter feed, I kept posting, it's going to be air travel that's going to be affected first. Retail is going to be affected second. Earnings per share is going to be affected third. Okay. We're just barely getting to the retail and earnings per share. It's, it hasn't even hit. The data has not come out yet. And if you're waiting for that data to tell you that oh we're going into recession right if you're waiting for logan mohtashami's stupid ridiculous dumb six point economic model america american has bulls have been winning since 1776 <laughs> if you're waiting for some ridiculous model like that and oh the Fed, central bank was asking me about my model how how i model uh, these are people that are insane. They're very good at marketing. They're very articulate, uh, very smooth talkers, but their economics is below zero. Okay. Academics below zero. Let them write all the papers. Let them have all the PhD papers they have but below zero. They don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Um, pseudo intellectuals writing books, uh, blogs, uh, posting memes. Uh, the, in uh, their little corners of the world inside of little chat rooms that all day long and uh, it's the reserves that you those forget about it right those people are below zero <laughs> okay here we are here we are in this world today that we are dealing with a, a pandemic uh, the real economy is suffering and all the printing all the rate cuts all these measures are useless they're not going to make a damn bit of difference 
and uh, this is what I'm, what I'm talking about if, if you could understand and um, the people are in the center of the economic universe and and you just did what I did third grade math nothing special in January there was 300 cases when I started tracking uh, corona and then it went to 500 and 800 and you know kept going on from there and I kept posting it I'm like what the fuck this is this is not good and you don't need to be a scientist to figure out that this is airborne and anything that's airborne is going to spread because you cannot stop the common cold if you can't stop the common cold you're certainly not going to stop um, uh, a coronavirus and especially when people are dying that's going to have a massive economic impact and we're witnessing that impact and you have the COVID-19 Flat Earth Society oh it's just the flu the flu kills more people buy the dip buy the dip buy the dip oh you want to be nibbling on the way down in non-risky assets I don't know what the fuck that means <laughs> but it sounds great you know they put people like this on CNBC this guy Paul uh, Gambles what a fucking joke that guy is right Oh, arm waving since 2011, I think, or 12 or 13, whatever. Oh, oh, everything is expensive. Oh, the economy is going to crash. Oh, oh. And then right at the top, he goes on CNBC and says, yeah, you want to be buying, uh, you want to be nibbling on the way, on the way down with uh, non-risky assets. The fuck does that mean, <laughs> right? So you see the bears turn bullish in the end. And, uh, and they turn into monkeys because that's what they are they're monkeys they're not economists they don't know what the hell they're talking about they're not investors they don't understand so I told you so I told you so I told you so I told you when I turned bearish back in September that this repo nonsense is a problem there is a problem in the banking system somewhere are they using that money to go out and buy stocks and bonds and putting the Fed on the hook? I don't know. That I, I have no evidence of it. I, that it's my suspicion. Uh, people were coming out with articles and writing articulate words that, well, it's not like that. It's the amount of reserves that the central bank has set and all this nonsense. It's not really QE because they're buying short-term uh, debt and not the long term so it's not technically QE in that fashion and they, they came up with all this nonsense to say to people and again appear pseudo intellectual with their correct p spelling the reality it was that the economy started to falter back in December 2018 that's when it started that's when this little uh, sell-off came and then they pumped it up with tweets and all this nonsense and uh, uh, liquidity. And I had said, I had said, I have posted this, you know how long ago? Three years ago. That euphoria was going to come one day. So then euphoria came. And then February came along. And I kept looking at the pandemic spread. And I asked my uh, Wall Street friends what's going on <laughs> because honestly I was I was brought to my limits I'm like this mark is supposed to be crashing and it's going up what the fuck is going on I'm a little bit autistic when it comes to that stuff I don't understand it it makes no sense to me when I, when I know something and it doesn't make sense then I don't know there's something weird going on so I asked him I said what value are you buying up here what is it that you're rushing to buy I don't, corporate profits are not rising they've been flat so what are you buying well you don't understand you know I'm buying because the other guy's buying and he's buying because I'm buying uh, well the death rates are not bad it's just a little you know like H1N1 it's nothing just you know everything is fine everything is dandy we didn't even test in the US for two and a half months. Imagine 450 tests in two and a half months. Right? Like, la 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 la. I was like, wow. And then I think it was, I don't know, a couple of days later, boom. The first tremor came. 
then the, the weekend came and the following week boom first earthquake and then the second boom <laughs> right and here we are today and they're trying to do what they're trying to stimulate the economy repos QE money lower rates anything they can think of tweets lock limit down lock limit down lock limit down lock limit down uh, nobody can figure it out and then you have all the experts on social media this is the time to be buying the dip you want to be nibbling on the way down buy the dip buy the dip this is a great time to make money yes uh, you know limit the risky assets and yeah uh, you know you want to go through the carnage and pick the right stocks what the fuck does that mean right but you you get these people unfortunately they're degenerate gamblers they're you know suddenly they became this investing guru experts and they have to go out and share this newfound knowledge with the rest of the world to show how smart they are be greedy when everybody else is fearful they tell you <laughs> right, they don't tell you the other part <laughs> be fearful when everybody else is greedy when everybody's saying the same thing uh, they're still being greedy okay they don't understand what that means just like they don't understand just about anything that Buffett says and then you you know the, these people are the quoters they, they quote they quote everybody else they ride the wave right as long as the bull market is fine yeah, well, what, what do you mean uh, not everything's fine no uh, what we talk about Wall Street guys now huh? no, everything what uh, it's not, I don't believe that. Now it's fine. You know, you just want to keep adding to the to your portfolio over time and just keep here. Yeah. yeah, that sounds great. It does, really. Uh, it's wonderful. Um, except for the fact that that's not how people behave. Right? It sounds good in theory, but in reality, it's not. It's not the way they think. And what ends up happening is they take, they eat massive losses in the wrong time of their lives such as this one they panic uh, at the wrong time not in the beginning in the beginning they're telling you to buy stocks and then at the bottom they're going to puke it all up they're going to sell out like they always do um, and then at that point is when the market is going to start going up so while they're telling you no no just keep adding every month you know percentage you can acquire more shares Buffett said that and that sounds so nice so educated so well thought out very simple just doesn't work that way you need to be savvier than that you got to be smarter than that right remember 2008 buy real estate God is not making any more land remember that buy gold buy silver hyperinflation crash JP Morgan remember that peak oil peak oil that's it we're all screwed peak oil remember that Bitcoin it's the blockchain dummy you don't understand blockchain I am in the know buy Bitcoin remember that oh it's just the flu this one just the flu buy the dip nibble on the way down avoid risky assets <laughs> every fucking time I've called the top it's been the same the same the same the same I've just gotten better and better and better at it that's it that's it that's the only difference I've just gotten better at it but uh, I will confess <laughs> I reached my fucking limit when uh, uh, I think it was a th the Wednesday right before the crack I was I was like okay I'm fucking stupid <laughs> I don't understand what I'm doing and I was literally going to stop doing all this I'm like if, if I can't get this right then I, I I don't know what I'm talking about so why am I wasting people's time I don't want to waste people's time I don't want to be the people that I make fun of basically but turned out I was right so you want to go listen to the Logans the American bull has been right since 1776 my six-point model works they all all their models always work <laughs> but it doesn't the only thing that works is dynamic analysis right when you look at all the data across the entire spectrum pick what is relevant analyze that part let the data tell you 
what is going on don't tell the data what's going on look at the market pull out a very simple basic chart look at it know how to read it okay and when those two, two things come together at some point and you can assess the risk versus reward you will pick it every single time I'm telling you it's not hard if you spend years studying it <laughs> you can't just one day wake up and oh okay you know let me read this book and then I'm gonna be able to do it no no it doesn't work like that it takes years it takes effort it takes practice it takes uh, time to prove it to yourself above all forget about going on social media and being the the jock and that you know everything for no that comes at the end <laughs> to get to that point you gotta go through all the idiots uh, all the bad calls that you're gonna make right and then when you made all the wrong choices all the wrong bad calls and you've embarrassed yourself to yourself which is the worst thing ever then and only then are you going to be able to to do uh, good analysis and be able to pick the right risk rewards and ask the very simple question what value are you buying up here that you're rushing out to to purchase and then you will hear the dumb people say dumb things and then you will know so I'll leave you with this economics is not based on money it's based on human in the center of the economic universe producing consuming producing consuming risk-taking okay that's what it's based on investing investing is about knowledge not guessing guessing anybody can guess right but it's very difficult to decipher a 50 50 a wave runner with quotes and someone that's gonna be right 60 40 it's a very fine line because unless you track the the record okay you won't see the 60 40 the 50 50 oh well you know you get shit wrong sometimes yeah but th those people are idiots they they never make money because even when they do get it right they they hold on too long and then they end up wrong anyway those are the fifters is what I call them and then you got the wave runners right the quoters they just quote everybody else they, they ride the wave they appear smart and nonchalant and they're oh yeah 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 you know they're articulate oh yeah I don't care yeah it's fine it's like this right and they'll, they'll quote stupid Buffett uh, lines and they don't know what it means um, and, and that's the way it is so look for the 6040 guy patreon.com slash real macro patreon.com slash BKC uh, come down and uh, join us right? I'll give you more in insights as to what's really going on but as I told you MMT is full of shit gold bugs are full of shit every other economic theory out there is full of shit because they live in this fantasy world that all that matters are banks central banks governments printing and money and, and that's it and they think if they can if they can dissect that to fucking stupidity right to, to a Nat's dick that oh we're economists now <laughs> idiots you're not economists you don't have a clue take care guys bye bye before this battle is over the world will know that few stood against many yeah